What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is John with JDS Outdoors and today the moment everybody's been waiting for with my jet build series stuff is we're finally starting on the dream jet. Uh, as you've seen in the past three video episodes on uh, the dream jet we got the trailer pretty much ready to go. Now we just need a boat to go on that trailer. And I'm sure you can see in the background we got some more toys to play with for the Dream Jet here. Got the engine sitting back over there. And we got a pump sitting over there. So let's turn around the camera. Go we'll take a closer look at those items. And tell you what the plan is. So for starters, we got a brand new to us 5.3 LS Chevy engine sitting on a pallet ready to be rebuilt now the plan with this is i'm going to tear it all down to the block and we're going to clean it and make sure everything's good replace any parts that need to be replaced machine anything that needs to be machined and essentially end up with a brand new engine when we're done because i don't know anything about this engine other than it's got parts on it and it's an engine i don't know how many miles are on it I don't know exactly what year it is. Yeah. So, we're going to tear that down to nothing. Plus, since it's been in a truck, it's had antifreeze in it. And when it goes in the boat, behind the pump over there, we need to uh, make sure there's no antifreeze left in it because it's going to be supplied with fresh water that gets flushed back into the lake or river that we are on. Now, the pump... This is exciting. This is a brand new Berkeley jet pump. It's the whole kit. Came with the, uh, the intake, the pump itself, and the transom bracket. And I went ahead and ordered the PTO shaft and the PTO plate. And this also came with, I haven't opened this box up. The reason this is all out already is because that came shipped inside one of the transmission crates and they wanted that back right away. Otherwise, they're going to charge me a bunch of money. And I've already paid enough money for this pump. Which, speaking of money, once this jet boat series is done, I'll do a cost breakdown on how much everything costs to build the entire boat. Which... Here's a little hint. This pump alone costs more than the entire mini jet did in the uh, Jet Boat Build 3.0 series. So we're talking, we're talking some good money invested in this project. So I have not had a chance to open up all the boxes. Inside this one, there's a. Uh, wiring and plumbing and switches and whatnot for the hydraulic trim that comes with this pump kit and what looks to be like the nozzle as well let's have a look see here Isn't she a beaut? So there's a little cute hydraulic cylinder to control the trim. We have our reverse bucket right there. And somehow this steers. I'll get it figured out later. Oh, I see. All right, so these two pins right here go on that part of the pump, and that's how it steers. Makes sense. What other goodies we got in this box here? And place diverter, which must be the hydraulic pump itself. Yep, that's the hydraulic pump. So, lots of good stuff with this kit. One thing I didn't see though is an intake grate. 
It goes on the bottom of the intake here. So we'll have to make something that that goes in there to keep debris from the river out of there. So now we're gonna get started, get the, uh, the engine put up on the stand and take it apart and see what, see what we're working with. I was gonna start by building the hull first, but I kind of, I'm kind of enjoying having all this space in here to get that engine tore apart. Um, I wanna make sure if it needs any machining or anything like that, we've got plenty of time to get it sent out. It'll be out of our way and get the work done on that while we work on the hull. And the reason I haven't started on the hull yet is because I was waiting for that jet pump to show up, making sure that we have everything the correct size. But I have some questions for you guys. Do you want me to make this a bunch of episodes or just a few? Now, keep in mind, this project's gonna take several months to do. It might even take a year. I hope it doesn't take that long. But if I do more episodes, I'll have more content, more videos to send out on it. But if I do few, say like five to 10 episodes on it, then you guys are waiting longer to get more videos. So let me know what, what you guys would like to see. More episodes is more details. You get to see a lot more that goes into it versus just a few episodes. Now at the end, I'll do what I did with the mini jet, the jet boat. 3.0 series where I compile all of the videos into one and make a short episode with all of them combined. So I'm going to do that with this once it's done, but <laughs> as you can see, we got a long way to go and look forward to taking you guys on this journey with me because I have a lot to learn also. Um, like that engine, I've done engine work before, but I've never done it to this extent. So it's going to be a fun thing to learn. But I guess I'll quit rambling and I'm gonna get that up on the stand. Start taking it apart. So here we go. Well, the good news is the cylinders don't look that bad. A little, uh, little sludgy, but there's still some cross hatching going on in there. There's no ridges. So I think we got a runner. We'll know more once we break into that bottom end. Cause you know what they say, it's all the pan, which is the next thing to be removed. Well, here's inside the oil pan. Other than the two screws that uh, dropped down in there, it actually looks pretty clean. Not too much sludge, so that tells me that uh, they were fairly religious on changing the oil on this motor. So that's good. 
we got uh, windage tray in the way, so we can't see too much under there, but we'll get this bad boy flipped over here in a minute. Let's see what the uh, bottom end looks like, then we'll really know what we got. Picked up some of this stuff the other day, and it's actually been pretty pretty good. I'm used to using that floor dry. But this stuff seems to soak up material much better. I'm kind of uh, kind of impressed. You should check it out. Bearing surfaces don't look too bad. And the crank on this side looks pretty good too. I definitely think we got a solid start. Well, now that we've successfully made a mess in the garage, we have a solid start to a uh, motor for the Dream Jet. Um, I don't need to continue showing tearing this apart. I'm sure that uh, if any of you guys are LS guys, you've seen that once or twice or 300 times. So I'm not going to finish showing it. The main purpose of this was to see if we had a good motor. And we got a good motor. Now we're going to order some uh, some fresh parts, fresh gaskets, get, uh, get this thing cleaned up so we can make it pretty and make it run. So if you want to see more of this, and more of that jet pump and the pile of metal that it's on make sure you stay tuned and also let me know what you guys want to see let me know if you guys want a bunch of videos on this or just a few um I'll make videos for you guys you guys can watch kind of the weird stuff that i do diving in hard and deep on this one um yeah it hurts the wallet just 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 a little bit but once it's done, we're going to have something pretty cool and something that I'm going to hold on to for a very long time. But let's uh, get back to turning that thing apart. I'm going to let you guys watch the video while I do that and get this disaster of a garage cleaned up and all the extra parts we don't need put away. So as always, thank you for watching JDS Outdoors. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thanks for watching the Dream Jet.